Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It's Garland here bringing you a new Diablo 4 video. And today we're in Season 4, The Loot Reborn. Uh, so we have the Iron Wolves campaign, essentially. So with Season 4, there wasn't any major uh, seasonal mechanic like we've seen in Season 1, 2, and 3. Uh, season 4, everyone knows they redid a bunch of systems, uh, redid the loot systems, etc. So all that development time went toward that. So they gave us a mini campaign, essentially. So we are right here in the Iron Wolves encampment. It's all the way over here. There is a mini little quest line. Uh, there's no reason to rush it. So if you want to rush it on, you know, world tier one, two, or three, be my guest. I would wait to finish it until you're like world tier four. Uh, there's only like five quests coming from, uh, the captain here, the field commander, the iron wolf field commander. Um, throughout that quest line, you're going to get bound items, account bound items here. When you finish the last quest, you're going to get the iron wolf medallion. It is account bound. The statistics on it aren't that great or anything. You should have way better by the time you do it. However, when you kill the last boss, for me, uh, it did drop a fashion piece, the Blood Maiden's Mantle. It's a mount cosmetic. Uh, and doing it on World Tier 4, it actually dropped a unique for me, too, for whatever reason I got how from below. Uh, but it dropped it at Ancestral Unique Level because I was in World Tier 4. So, like I said, you don't want to rush into this uh, campaign and do it right at the beginning uh, you can start it but don't kill that last boss until you get you know uh, till world tier 4 is my suggestion so there is a mini little campaign here it's a reputation system you gain this reputation the wolf's honor by killing things in the hell tide goes all the way up here I haven't claimed any of these yet we're gonna claim them now uh, but some of the key features here people were saying they were getting uniques uh, from right here tier four people were getting uniques so I wanted to test this to see what level uniques we would get by opening on world tier four you're going to get some of the um, tempers I already have these so they're irrelevant uh, one of the biggest thing is you're going to get a resplendent spark as well so you're able to get three resplendent sparks in season four i'll have a separate video on that but one of those resplendent sparks does come from finishing uh the iron wolf campaign uh, and it's at tier 16 this goes all the way to tier 18 uh you're going to get one of those uh profane mind stones as well let's just go ahead and claim these um i'm interested to see the tier four I don't have them all, unfortunately, for purposes of the video, but I mainly wanted to see the unique one. Let's go ahead and bind the mount trophy. Uh, so where is the unique one? Is that right here? So here it is, the Iron Wolf's... Uh, let's see if we get anything decent out of this. Uh, so unfortunately, it doesn't scale with World Tier. They're both sacred. So as far as the reputation board goes, you guys can go ahead and claim those whenever. So if you want to get early uniques, it's literally only tier four. Go ahead and grab them, I guess. Uh, for instance, we actually got two of the same, right? We got two Evan Piercers here. Both are sacred, so they're useless to me. But when you're starting the game and you're only in world tier three, for instance, I'm sure that will help you out greatly. So, just a short little video. Again, no major seasonal mechanics here coming in Season 4. That's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, that's the Iron Wolf campaign for Season 4. Go ahead and leave your comments below. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys real soon.